Hi, I'm Ha Jun Chang. I have been teaching economics at the University of Cambridge. Education about the general public, what I call mass economic literacy, is extremely important because we cannot make our society better without changing the economy. Somehow, we have come to get our priority wrong. Finance or the economy, they are means to an end. The end should be human welfare, society that takes care of the weak, and finance or production or all these things uh, should be considered as a means. Somehow we have inverted uh, the means and the ends. You know, you have to accept that a lot of people who discuss these things come from a background where they probably have never met a person who's ever been unemployed in their life. They've never met a poor person. They've never lived in deprived areas. So for them, I mean, uh, these are like unicorns, something that exists in stories. You know, this is why I believe that mass economic literacy is so important. Ordinary citizens need to know what's going on. They need to understand the basic principles of economics and what is wrong with the version that they are getting. Only then they can speak for themselves. Unfortunately, economists have been fantastically good at making people believe that what they do is very difficult. People have very strong opinions on all sorts of things. The European Union, climate change, the Iraq war. You know, I have my views on the Iraq war, but do I have a degree in international relations? I mean, I took one international relations class back in 1983, but I still make comments. I still have strong views. But when it comes to economics, a lot of people say, oh, that's for the experts. Too complicated for me. No. It's only because people have been scared into believing that this is too difficult, you know, you just listen to us. The Brexit example is a perfect example of that kind of approach backfiring. Because now people say, well, we don't know what you are saying, but we think you are wrong. <laughs> uh, if we had uh, paid more attention to making people understand about the economy and have more informed opinion about it, they might have a rather different approach to the whole thing. Today, economics has become the language of power. In the old days, the Vatican banned the translation of the Bible from Latin into local vernacular languages. So only educated priests and some elites that could read it. So you have to change this the way that people understand about taxation, government spending, social insurance. I mean, this idea that the poor people are just taking, no, poor people also pay taxes. Economists use this term tax burden. It's price that you pay for public service. Do you call your Netflix uh, subscription a burden? Because it's uh, taking money away from you, but that's not how people see it. We all have to play a role. Ultimately, it's the people. Yeah? Are we going to argue for some kind of uh, dictatorship? I lived the first uh, 25 years of my life under a military dictatorship, and I don't recommend it to anyone. Ordinary citizens have to you know, engage in this, you know, because that's the price you have to pay to have democracy. Mm -hmm.